Welcome back to the channel and in today's little video uh, I'm going to develop again because uh, as you can probably see in the previous two videos I was having a little trouble with purple um, bits on the film which didn't affect the digital scans but made me a bit worried about printing to paper. So I've done a bit of research and I think I've got the thing but we're going to learn together on the way through. Um, what I'm developing is a roll of Ilford Delta 100. <clears throat> um, this morning, uh, whatever the date is, I'll check that for you, right on the bottom. <laughs> um, it was a fog, lovely fog. So I quickly grabbed one of my uh, Canon AL ones, um, whacked this in, because I didn't have a 400, so I set this to 400. This is going to be two stops over in development time. And I also used, for the first time today, instead of using the uh, camera's in, uh, inbuilt meter in the fog, because this can sometimes give wrong readings, I used my uh, meter reader. Yeah, light meter. Just a basic one I think you all know, the brand. Um, and shot it as per what that said. And half the speed again so generally it was hitting 2.8 at 125 for the 400 uh, so i dropped it to, you know did that photo and uh, a, a speed of 60 which is about the lowest i'll go holding a 50 mil lens manually uh, you know by hand so that's the experiment we're using the lab box again using b solution b dilution sorry of hc110 code hc110 I'm also going to mix up in full a 1 to 7 dilution because I'm tight and I don't want to spend too much money. <laughs> uh, so that gives me a 6 to 8 minute fix. So I've got to remember that later. So I've got to remove the 4 minutes that I used to do. And in between, um, you may see in one of the cameras that I'm heating up water, which I'm hoping to get to 20 degrees, which it should be not far off. Not only to mix up the chemicals, but also to uh, wash as well. I'm going to try and do this without having to keep going back to the kitchen, and switching the cameras off and everything else. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So um, first things first, we're going to load up. The lab box with the film so i'm going to do move a few bits and pieces and uh, get organized and we'll be back and as if by magic boom <laughs> so hopefully now uh, we've got two angles on the things so you can see what i'm doing especially when i'm pouring the liquids and everything else which is a bit of a problem on the last videos but hey i'm an amateur i'm learning and we're all learning together so lab box this allows you to develop in this case 35 mil but i've also got the 120 adapt uh, 120 adapter that allows you to develop unload the reel and develop in the box in the light so you don't need a bag I and mean, i've got the pattern uh jugs and bags never use them <laughs> because i keep going back to this so how does it work take the lid off inside there there's a guide Okay, so I'll guide the, the film through, you change the, the width for whatever film you're doing, in this case I'm doing 35, so it's on 35mm setting, and the reel inside is 35mm, actually I'll show you that, I'll give that a quick, it's turn, you can turn this knob until it slides out, you know, be gentle, because any of these little plastic prongs are holding it on, okay, so here is the 35mm reel, Everything goes on. Hope you've got that. So just put that. In. Actually, it's a bit wet in there from the previous. It was a bit naughty at me, so. <clears throat> Give me a second. I wasn't lying. It's this Fog Park 15th. There you go. <laughs> um, sorry about that. A uh, little takeaway there. Um, little little note to oneself and anybody else wanting to do this. Keep it dry. You know, when you've used it, dry it properly. My mistake. Right, okay, so back to putting the tongue 
underneath the bars we've got our little piece of film out and we need our scissors which I never seem to have on which are in my tin as you can hear okay just uh, trim it <clears throat> okay there's a little bit there I saved these because I can test the uh, uh, developer, no, developer, the test the um, fixer later, but anyway, that's another, another subject. So now, clip it as close to the middle of the film as you can, put it in the guide, take up the slack on the clear bit of tape. As you probably hear, I still haven't been to the dentist yet. 20th of January, I get the mould done for my new dentures because my teeth fell out. <laughs> There you go, put the lid on. And now using the knob here, you know, not too slowly, but not too fast. There you go, you can hear it going onto the reel. And off we go. It's a 36 grain, 36 exposures, which take a little bit longer than the 24, obviously. So off we go. Okay, so it's got to the end and you, you can't turn it anymore don't force it and underneath here yeah there's a like a lever that cuts the tape as you can hear and now move it on and there we go we're ready so that's light safe films loaded don't open the box which I've done a few times otherwise that's your film gone um, right so now what do we need to do so we're gonna put these to one side for a second just for a minute um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-treat, I was toying whether I was going to do this or not um, with washing the water. So I have some 20 degree water and I'm going to pour 300 ml or so into half. I need a better bucket. This, uh, Silly still warmer, which is brilliant. Doesn't like my bucket to stay still. Right, so it's going to pour, sort of pre warm the water, pre warm the film, as it were. I'm going to leave that in there while I'm, I'm turning this, by the way. This is like agitation, agitating the, uh, uh, like Patterson tanks. So, you know, I, I tend to sort of think of one rotation as one lip. So, normally about two turns or so for a rotation ish okay let's also warm that up for anyway so let that go and we'll leave that there right right so I'm going to mix up my new batch of Adafix Plus so I think you can see that there and I'm going to do it to the dilution of one to seven so I'm making 800 mil up, um, which for my tank is about 400 mil ish. So you know, it'll when I when I save it, it'll replenish itself for a little while. But I can always test this, <clears throat> as I alluded to earlier. So it's a uh, 100 mil to 700 mil water. So I've got my little my little jug. And pour. 100 mil. If you can see that. I found these lovely little glass um, measuring jugs on um, Amazon. Uh, I bought quite a few of them, as you'll probably see in a few photos as we go along the coming months. They're really nice. Not too expensive, are you? This was good. <laughs> so pop that out of the way. <clears throat> Try to stretch over you. Okay, so now we need uh, 800 mil of water, which I've got warmed up. Uh, 700 mil, sorry. So I can pour a bit of that out. Get that down to 700. 
Cool. There you go. That gets with it. Um, right, so pour that in there. And then what I tend to do is just backwards and forwards, which helps with mixing, which I will mix properly with the paddle in a minute. It also um, cleans out quite a bit the residual from the little still need to wash that but we'll do that later. Now I get my uh, paddles. Right so now we stir in make sure it's all stirred in. So you can look a bit as you probably saw it was a bit cloudy. Let's take a little break there there to clean my lens. I don't know what was wrong. It'll be cold because of the shed. Note to self, acclimatise digital gear before you uh, make videos. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Doing its thing, let's put that in there. Right, so now I pour this into here. Put in the funnel. So this will now be, because it's um, you know one part seven, this will now be to the four minutes, seven to eight minutes. So a bit longer, but I'm sure it'll be fine as per the uh, instructions. So quickly there, I'll do seven there. I'll go, I'm going to go to your seven thirty. There you go. Give them a bit of each. Right, so now to keep that warm, to pop that in here, this might this bottle actually helps stabilise, he said, <laughs> the uh, heater. So I've got some water going on there, that needs washing, which I'll do later. So now we have our fix ready. We have some water getting warmer. So I'll uh, add a bit more to that in there, just to give me a bit more for later. Okay, cool, and then I'll top that up in a minute. That's going to be for the washing, uh, for the stop, sorry. Okay, so now, so I alluded to use <coughs> HC110 as my developer. Of choice. Here we go, I'm not sponsored, just thought I'd let you know. And uh, <clears throat> so I do 31 mil, 31 mil <coughs> of uh, of the uh, concentrate uh, to, sorry, no, sorry, sorry, it is 31 to 1 litre, but as I'm only making 500 mil. To halve it, so it'll be roughly around 16, uh, 16 mil. Okay, so we'll pour that from here. So hopefully, we'll get this as close as. I'm not going to have a an all-out fit if I don't get it right. Doesn't seem to cause any trouble. Right, so put that out of the way. So again, got my water. Sorry, here, this one. This is one shot, by the way. So I'll only use this once, <coughs> and then pour it away. So just under five hundred mil. About there. Fill that back up. My washing later. 
And since I'm going to be dumping that, I might as well pour that in there. That's going to be my dump bucket for this. So again, pour that in. You see it's all like, like thick treacle. Yeah, I'm going to go all a bit more. You can probably see the other here. See that a bit better. Okay. And again, carefully as, as I can, just to get the bulk of it start the mixing and hold the end. Okay. And again that'll be washed later. And the other paddle. And give that a good mix. Okay. So now we're going to get the, the chemicals in and start the clot. So it's, uh, this will be as it's uh, Delta 100. Let me get cr cracking. I'll tell you what it is. So I'm going to start that. <coughs> Pour this. Okay, so as you saw there, I'm basically agitating it by turning the dial. Get that out of the way for a minute. Make some room. Okay, I'm doing this for one minute. And while I'm waiting, that's 30 seconds. So, uh, Delta 100, uh, two stops pushed to 8 to 400, requires 12 minutes development time. And of course, I'm not going to make you sit here for 12 minutes. All right, so uh, it's coming up with a minute. So you can see it's giving it a good agitation. And every minute I'll do about 10 turns of this dial. That seems to hold good. So here we go. That's our first minute. I'm going to get rid of some of the water. Get ready. And um, close to the uh, ending time, we'll come back. So we've got about two minutes or so to go so I'm sort of getting prepped because uh, I've not done this before again living up to my self self-made title of amateur photographer if this goes well I'm a genius if it doesn't hey ho <laughs> I'm an amateur good get out clause eh ah. right so I'm gonna give that a few more turns just so you can see on the camera normally I hold the lid just to keep it steady as you just saw there wobbled a bit okay and we're uh, about one and a half minutes from so what I'm going to do uh, at 11 30 minutes I'm going to empty this because it's one shot so that goes away and then I've got my 20 degree water ready to give it a wash so I'm going to wash it twice uh, and then we'll get the the uh, fixer in and that also needs seven and a half minutes so we're sort of getting there we've got enough containers to take the water that one too <coughs> so here we go so we're going up to 11 and a half so we'll get this big one in to pour this into Another quick wiggle. Okay, so that's the one stop B dilution. It's going to work for it will be 12 minutes by the time I've emptied it. Now we get our water. I don't want to overspill. It seems a bit thin. I don't want to spill too much. I don't want to put too much in. So what I'll do for a wash. Put that back in there. And now we're stopping the film. Put that about seven seconds or so over. So that's just increased my uh, 
contrast by 7 million percent, maybe, or not. <laughs> I don't know, we don't know. So it's going to be fun looking at it anyway. As I say, this is all experimental, so for me, and some of you have probably done this a thousand times. So I'm just giving that a wash through. I'm not being over scientific, I'm just basically diluting and diluting, so there's not so much developer left. One more. Need a lot of kitchen towel. Do that. Leave that out for a minute. Just need to fill that up. Okay. So water. So that should well and truly stop the. Uh, developing. You can see that. That's all I'm doing is just constantly turning that for a little while until I think it's washed through. That's how I keep my hand on just to stop it sliding. It gets wet sometimes. So. Okay, that's that. Right, that's that bucket. Pull up. Okay, so now I want 400 mil or so. A bit more water, please. These squeegee bottles are pretty good, but they do hold, when you're warming them up, they do hold a lot of water. So, this is the fix. It's over. I don't think that'll stay in there. Make it too buoyant. Put that on there. So we'll stop that. Clear that. Start that for seven and a half minutes. And again, one minute, the first minute, I just constantly turn this. So it's like a midget, mid, bleh, midget minutes agitation. All I want for Christmas is too fancy. <laughs> Again, yeah, I think you get the idea. I'm just turning that, I'm not doing any magic by hand, sleight of hand. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wish I could, but we do a better job of this. <laughs> okay. That's nearly to a minute. And what I'll do is, again, I'll uh, run these. You know, you don't have to sit through seven minutes of this. So, um, I'm going to explain one thing before we before we go. Once this is done, okay. So that's that's set. So what I've got here, okay. This is just a pipette bottle full of um, Ilford's rinse aid, and something I've watched off of um, John Finch. Fantastic. Uh, uh, film developer on YouTube. I'll put a link below. I've got his book in the corner there. I'll have to just sit on the GoPro there. <laughs> and as I read that, I'll probably get better as the videos go along. <laughs> Anywho, so what goes in here is again the 400 ml of deionized water for my final rinse later on. So I'll rinse a bit more than that. So, um, I rinse with my water at 20 degrees, uh, sort of like an Ilford style rinse at the end using the lab box. So I'll do about 10 turns and then 20 turns and then 30 turns and that should be enough to have washed it out with the final rinse. Um, and what I noticed from John, what, what I saw on John's thing about how much rinse aid, it literally is a drop. You don't, don't worry about the instructions. I mean, you literally want, boom, or maybe even two, if that. I'll probably put too much in there. So it only needs to break the surface tension of the water. Um, so yeah, so that's that's going to sit there later. I'll give that a little stir in a second. Um, so, 
It's up to two minutes so odd, so I'm just going to give that a little, a little turn. So I'm going to get rid of the spent materials, uh, get some more water in so I can wash, uh, do the three sets of washing when we come back. And fingers crossed, we'll have some images to look at. Um, I realised I don't need uh, chuckles of water. I've got a whole bucket full of 20 odd degree water there, which is going to be absolutely fantastic for the final watch, the final wash and rinse. So I'm going to turn this off now because we don't need it heating the water up. Now that's the heater in the, in the shed you can hear in the background if you can. So this is on six and a half minutes, so getting myself prepared. This is going to be reused, so it's going to go back into here for a different um, so, different funnel. So we're getting to that point. Um, so that's had 12 minutes of development. I've chosen seven and a half minutes based on the uh, Adofix Plus label there for a one to seven. Um, so we did a pre-wash, let it soak, uh, did the development. We've washed it twice, that's the stop. This is now the uh, fix. And then we're just going to do the usual uh, wash. Oh, here we go, we're coming up to it now. So, let's pull it out. There we go. And Okay. Just back in the bottle. Okay, so that's done. We'll put that something to be washed later. Now the good thing about these bottles, if you're worried about getting the air out from the chemicals, is you can just squeegee them down, not too hard, otherwise it'll come flying out. Get as close as you dare to the top, and then tighten the lid. As long as nothing goes wrong, there you go. You've got all the air out of the bottle. Okay, and then I'll store that later back in its box so now let's go on with washing um well yeah so it's the first one i don't really need the lid on but for some reason i don't know why i tend to think i do so for the first wash just like before pour it in This is where I start to think, I hope the big reveal is any good. <laughs> so this is now that's my first wash. Roughly about five normal inversions. Pour that away. Okay. And then There you go. Now twice as long. I might do that Benny Hill speedy up bit.
this. I'm just showing you I can take the lid off now because essentially that's done. So we've got our film in there. You can basically just fill that up with water. So we've just had this in for a while now. So I can call that the last wash as it were. Or maybe do another one, don't know. Let's see. Oh. Gave the canister a wash as well. But what you can do as well, what you should do really, if you're going under the sink, is there's a lever here. You take the back off. Now you've got a smaller area. So I'm going to do oh, one more. It's a bit wet there. One more wash before I put the rinse aid in. Ooh, a bit too much. Pour a bit of that out because otherwise it'll spill. There we go. Fix as we go along. I suppose when I get more used to cameras and the job itself I'll be able to do this a bit quicker and a bit better but that's progression and we will progress together amateurs of the world unite <laughs> be proud I don't need a stop block don't need that one anymore okay that should do that right so it's had its washes Got up two litres, I've only used two litres of water which I already had in there so you know pretty um, eco-friendly as it's such as we can be. Apparently that means a lot these days. Give it a quick wipe. Okay now we get our rinse There we go. Again you see there's enough from those two little drops there's enough just to break the tension of the water. Uh, I don't wipe my films anymore because uh, so I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but I'm definitely going to clear all the liquids out of the way before I do that before I show you what I do. <laughs> so just let that Settle for a little while, well, um, not for a little while, just a minute or so, it doesn't need to be too long. Um, and that's that. So, by the magic of television, as I used to say, when we watch television, um, I'm going to clear all this water away. Uh, so now that's had a good enough rinse, I've cleared up, as you can see, because uh, I don't need all that in the way. So, that's the rinse aid section. I'll just get thrown away. Okay. Now, take that out. Don't need that anymore. That anymore. Put the bits in there. So so we're still dripping, it's all wet. We're good. Thing now to get that a lot drier, use the uh, salad spinner. That's why I said I'm going to get rid of all the water. So essentially, pop that in there, close the lid, and send it. Spin. Only too long. About uh, 17 hours. <laughs> and muscles like Popeye. There you go. That'll do. Uh, that's enough. Okay. It's got the bulk off. It should be. Yeah, a bit of water. Let's come out of there. And then fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 
Yep, and we have images. Awesome. Don't you can see that. I'll do it on the on the GoPro. We've definitely got images. And there's a good remember it's a foggy day shot at 400 from the 100 it's all clear might check the seals on my camera but that's for another day so I'm just going to hang them up to dry we'll not only show the other side of my shed also fingers crossed there are some images how good they are how well they've come out how they'll print that's the subject when they dry in a couple of hours time okay I will give a shed tour at some point but for now that's it thank you for watching please subscribe and do the belly thingy and uh, if this has come out well the next video will be me uh, scanning and maybe even doing enlarger and I might as well show you that sorry about the mess because we've been doing the, uh, the developing but essentially that's my enlarger a quick guided saw my enlarger I have a small colour enlarger that's where we've been messing about and that's all my cameras that I'm going to show you in a different video my connection to the outside world <laughs> more cameras I like AR1s by the way <laughs> surprise surprise um, and that's it so there we go so maybe we'll be uh, using that to uh, print some of the pictures later on that's for another video anyway thank you thank you for watching and see you again very very soon